Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today in this video, we'll learn how to create this cool Squid Game intro animation in After Effects. And trust me guys, it's not that complicated as it looks. And the best part is you don't require any third party plugin to create this in After Effects. My name is Shaumit, you're watching Editor's Inventory. Let's get started. So before we enter into After Effects and start creating our animation, we will require two things. So first of all, you open Google and search for Game of Squid's font. This font is actually the exact font which is used for the Squid Game intro by the creators. So you can download this font. The second thing that you will need is a good quality texture. So for that, I'm using Texture Labs. This is a free website from where you can download multiple textures in high quality. In this, I'm using this specific texture. If you go here and search metal 291. Yeah, so this is the texture that I am using, but you can use any texture that you want. Make sure you download the large file resolution because we need the highest quality for this animation. And once you've installed the font and downloaded the texture, let's go into After Effects. So now in After Effects, I will create a new composition. So click on new composition and I'll create a 4K composition 24 frames per second and i'll keep the duration around 20 seconds so now we have a 4k composition and now i will create a new solid which we will use as our background so just click on new and then click on solid and from here i'll use a nice pink color for our background but you can use any color that you want yeah, i think this color is really fine for us to start with. And now I'll import the texture, just go into your downloads and you will find the texture there. Just double click on it. And now just drag and drop it over your background. And now I'll change the blend mode. And in some cases, if you don't find the blending options over here, just click on toggle switches and you will find it right over under mode. Now I'll keep this overlay. Now, as you can see that we have a really good looking background with great looking texture, but I just want to, you know, enhance this texture. I need more texture into my background. So for that under effects, I'll search for levels and I'll apply it on my texture layer and also tint. And if you try to increase this slider over here, as you can see, the texture is getting darker. So what this is doing is adding more contrast to our texture. And that's why it's becoming more dark and more visible on top of our background. So now what I will do is just click on swap colors. And now I'll just increase this slider to my right. And as you can see, we'll have more texture in it. I need more texture. And yeah, I think this looks fine to me. So you can play with the slider and achieve your desired look. And now we'll add the text. So just click on the text tool and type the text that you want. So in this case, we'll type squid game. Now you can take this in, uh, you know, two lines. Now I'll just align it to the center of the, our frame. As you can see, yeah. So this is the center and I'll increase the size of the text. So now we have the base ready for our animation. And the first thing that we will do now is add texture to our text layer. So on your timeline, just select the texture layer and duplicate it by pressing control D and just using the track mat, link it to your text layer and now make your text visible. So now what, whatever you uh, do on this texture layer will apply directly to your text layer. So first of all, we'll change the blend mode of this layer to multiply. As you can see, now we have a whole bunch of texture on our text, but we don't want this much texture on our text. So what we'll do is we'll play with the sliders over here to achieve the look. Taking this slider to the left will add more contrast to the texture and now we'll reduce the contrast by increasing the slider to the left. I think this is fine and you can see that the text is looking really great with this uh, greeny uh, grungy type of texture that, that we have applied on the text and this looks good. Next step is to create black solids around our text that we will animate later. So using the pen tool, we'll create a mask inside the D letter to fill this area. Be a little precise in this uh, so that we can cover the whole text. Just a second. Similarly, we will create a black solid inside our M letter and also for the G letter. And now we will add texture to our black solids. So for doing that, first of all, we'll select all our solids and we'll put them below our texture layer. 
and now we will change the blend mode of our main texture layer to add now as you can see we have the texture applied to the black solids as well but now it's too much bright so now what we'll do is we'll select a more darker uh, solid for our background so just select this solid layer and click on layer and under that solid settings and then we'll go for a darker color over here now we'll also play with the sliders to make it a little darker so now we are done with the design part of our animation now two steps are left first is to animate the text and the second is to add 3d movement to the animation so let's start with animating the text animating the text is super simple just head over to the text layer select it right click it and then under create create shapes from text now after effects will create shapes from your text letters as you can see s q u so we will have individual shape layers for the letters of your text now what you can do is you can individually animate the path of any letter that you want uh, using keyframes and also you can animate the entire text by adding a parameter for the trim paths and then using the start and end keyframes to animate the entire text so basically using this you're going to reveal the text and then individually you can animate the uh, path of any letter that you want make it appear as if it's growing i'll show you how you can animate your solids so basically what you're going to do is just select all the three solid layers and then press p on your keyboard to get the position keyframes on the first frame and bring these keyframes a little forward and uh, arrange them accordingly and now add again three keyframes at the beginning and move these solids one by one and now if you play it you will have this cool animation now i'll show you how to animate the 3d camera to add movement to the entire animation so now on your timeline right click under new create a 3d camera use default 35 mm camera make sure it's two node and click on ok now once again click on toggle switch and turn all your layers into 3d now what we'll do is uh, we'll turn on the uh, depth of field over here and we'll use the point of interest and position and uh, we'll also use uh, the scale so basically zoom to animate and add movement to the entire animation so we'll start from the position we we'll keep it a little tilted at the start and what you can do is increase the size of these textures you can link them together using the parent uh, link and now just increase the scale also we'll increase the scale of our background solid move few frames forward and just add a little movement to this a little zoom as well and just bring it to the center okay so now if you play it you'll have a cool slow moving animation so yeah that's how you will animate the 3d camera now let's have a look at the final animation so this is how the final animation looks and guys i'm also selling out the project file of this animation which you can purchase from the first link in the description and now you know how to create the squid game intro in after effects if you have any queries regarding the steps of this tutorial you can ask me in the comment section below and if you're new here i'm always uploading such high quality tutorials to improve your video editing skills so you can subscribe for more such videos and also you can check out my scroll stopping content on instagram my name is Shomit, you are watching Editor's Inventory and I'll see you around in my next video. Bye.